This video is made in partnership with Shopback. Check the description box below for a link to get your 100 pesos sign up bonus. So recently, I bought a ring light. And before I spend my money on something, I always think twice, thrice, if it's really worth spending my money on. And today, for this video, let's talk about my spending process and maybe there's something you could take away from this video. Alright, before we proceed talking about my spending process, I want you to pause this video for a few seconds and write down all the things that you mo during this quarantine period. Alright, I'll pause this video for a few seconds. Initially, if you find yourself laughing dun sa list na mga mo, you probably bought some stops na hindi mo naman talaga kailangan. And it's okay and not okay. Okay kasi ngayon, alam mo na na you've spent some things na hindi mo naman talaga kailangan and ngayon, i-restrict mo na yung sarili mo from doing that again. So, alam mo na na may mali sa spending habits mo. And it's not okay kasi sayang yung pera mo. Ngayon that you have a bit of perfection about your spending habits, let's talk about my spending process and baka may may tulong sa inyo to. Again, results are not guaranteed but you should consider it. Tip number one, avoid impulse buying. So, ano ba muna tong impulse buying na to? So, basically, impulse buying is buying up goods or services without planning in advance. Usually, nangyayari to when people goes to a mall and when they find something interesting, pinibili na agad nila. And kung tutuusin, if afford mo naman talaga, diba, parang wala namang masama dun. But for me, uh, it's still wrong kasi you're developing bad habits pag ginagawa mo yun. In the current new normal, hindi tayo masyadong makapunta sa mga mall ngayon. So we often browse um, social media marketplaces or kaya naman online shopping apps. And originally, just like pag nasa mall ka, you intend dun na mag-window shopping lang. So hindi ka talaga bibili. But after a few minutes ng pag, uh, pagtingin-tingin mo, mag-gulal ka na, boom, you start buying things. And ang problema ngayon, uh, Pagka kasi bumibili ka sa online shopping, you don't pay it upfront. Pwede yung cash on delivery or kaya naman credit card. And magulat ka na lang sa credit card bills mo pagdating mo ng due date, patong-patong na yung bills mo. Last thing that I noticed that make people do impulse buying is stress. And the reason is kasi shopping is fun and shopping releases happy hormones or dopamine. So pagka stress ka and nag-shopping ka, for a while makakalimutan mo talaga yung problema mo or the thing that causes you stress. But just like any other short-term solutions, it doesn't solve your problem. And it actually make it worse in the long run. So how do we solve these problems? Okay, here's my practical suggestion. Never buy something na naisipan mo lang once or nakita mo lang once. Kasi malamang sa malamang yan, bugso lang yan ng damdamin. So ano yung gusto kong gawin mo? For me, here's my suggestion for you. Isulat mo muna yan sa wishlist mo. Pwedeng sa cellphone mo, i-write down mo yon or isulat mo talaga siya sa papel. So kahit ano, basta just write it down first and sa katabi nun, ilagay mo yung purpose. Isulat mo din yung purpose mo nun. So pwedeng itulog mo muna yon Tapos, pero for me ah, yung best practice for me na gawin mo is palipasin mo yung isang linggo and, and pagka tingnan mo siya ulit, if you still want it and it still serves a purpose para sa'yo, then that's a time you buy it. And for me, that saves me a lot of money from impulse spending. Tip number two, spend with purpose. So for me, I just want to share to you muna yung mga things na sa wishlist ko. So for me, I wanted a new microphone, a new lens, uh, a new laptop, and a new headphone. So for me, yung purpose naman is to improve the quality of content that I'm putting out. Yung reason ko kasi, I think na I wanted to make this a more sustainable career. And for me, I think yung reason doon behind is uh, if I put a better quality content, parang I'm putting myself one step closer to that goal. Pero kung titignan mo, that's a bad general example kasi parang unti lang yung makakarelate dun sa sinabi ko. So let me, let me share something na more generic or more relatable for others. So let's talk about travel. So yung travel, ultimately yung purpose ng travel na naririnig ko sa mga tao is to gain experience. Which is good, wala akong plain chef, yun talaga yung purpose mo for travel. But recently, ang napapansin ko kasi parang hindi na yun yung nagiging purpose ng travel para sa mga tao. What happened is they travel to gain status, to to, uh, to impress others, to post something on social media. And dun na ako may complaints. Parang it defeats the true purpose of travel. So if ganun na yung nangyayari sa'yo, you're just uh, traveling to impress others, to post something on social media, uh, to gain status. Parang it's not worth it to spend your money on travel. Pagka ganun na yung sitwasyon mo. Last thing that I want to touch pagdating dito sa purpose is yung birthdays, uh, occasions, and events. So for me, um, hindi mo naman kailangan gawing in grande itong mga to. Hindi mo naman kailangan pakainin yung buong barangay. I think uh, kailangan lang is andun, present yung mga important people to you. And alam nila kung bakit sila andun. Alam nila yung purpose kung bakit sila present sa, sa events, sa occasion, or sa birthday na yun. Kasi I think uh, parang masyado nang 
nakakalimutan or underrated na masyado yung purpose ng event. Parang andun lang sila pero hindi talaga nila gets kung, kung ano yung celebrate nila kung, and kung bakit andun sila. So for me, parang sa akin, importante na yun ngayon. Tapos, it has to be fun. So the very core para sa akin, events, birthdays, and occasions are uh, It's it's a, it's a it's an event to bring the important people to you together and share them to you yung moment na yon. Look, purpose is different from person to person. So pwedeng may purpose sa akin, uh, walang purpose sa so I couldn't recommend yung uh, yung bagay na pinagagastosan ko, na gastosan mo din because it has purpose for me. So hindi pwedeng ganoon. So the, the general guide na masabi ko when it comes to purpose is always spend your money for the right reasons and it should always serve a purpose para sa Tip number three, spend wisely. So, dito na papasok yung timing, discounts, perks, and points. For timing, this is just simple. Huwag mong pagsabay-sabay. Don't overcommit to a lot of expenses. For example, kakabili mo lang ng car. Huwag ka muna bumili ng bahay. Huwag ka muna mag-travel to an expensive country. Huwag ka muna kumuha ng expensive insurance policy. Huwag ka muna mag-baby. Huwag ka muna magpaasal. Kasi itong mga to may mga kadikit yan na price tag eh. So, yun. Baka magulat ka na lang hindi kaya ninang uh, income mo yung expenses na to and baka bigla ka ma-wipe out. So, dahan-dahan lang, huwag ka magmadali, we're not in a race. Now, let's talk about points, discounts, and perks. So, for me, bonus na lang to, to my spending. The wise way to utilize this is, at the very core, only spend your money on things na kailangan mo talaga and serves you a purpose. Then, you find something na may discount, points, and perks. That's why I partnered with Shopback for this video. So, Shopback is a platform where it allows online shoppers to get a cashback pagkagumasa sila on the platform dun sa mga online partners or online merchants sa platform. So, sa madaling salita, pagkagumasa ka using the platform dun sa mga merchants dun na partner, may babalik sa yung pera at absolutely no cost to you. So, dun sa app or website, you could see categories such as food delivery, grocery delivery, fashion, electronics, beauty, and more. There are four great deals that are being offered in the app right now. So, if you're looking for a credit card as of the moment, pagkagusta mo i-check yung Citibank deal there. It offers for 700 cashback reward. I personally have a Citibank credit card so it's not hard for me to recommend this credit card. They have no annual P benefits and credit card allows you to have access to credit. It also helps you build your credit score para sa ding ma-approve yung loans mo in the future. It allows you to have access to installment payments for huge purchases. It also gives points as you purchase using credit card which you can exchange for a reward. So madaming benefits ang credit card. A peace reminder lang, use it responsibly. If you want to know more about credit cards, I'll link my past videos as show notes for you to learn more about credit cards. Then, if you want to open a digital savings account, you could also check in ING. They offer 500 pesos cashback. Be sure lang to download the ING app first before you access them sa cashback. If you don't want to go to a bank branch due to the quarantine and gusto mo na mag-open ng savings account to save some money, you could check that deal out. If you're hungry, you could also check Food Panda there. They have 3% cashback for new users, so and done variety of restaurants to choose from. So just pick whatever you want there and enjoy your meal. Lastly, if you're looking for a good deal for a purchase, you might want to check Shopee from the Cashback app. They will be having 8-8 sale nila this coming weeks, so you might want to take full advantage of it. There will be a referral link in the description box down below. So if you find the app very useful and interesting, please use the link to download the app. In those little ways that would help you support the channel. That's it for me in this video. So let's have a quick recap na lang when it comes to mindful spending. So tip number one, uh, avoid impulse spending. Tip number two, spend with purpose. And tip number three, spend wisely. Look, as much as I want to preach about saving money, we can't deny the fact that the world is consumer-centric. So let's be mindful na lang on how we spend our money. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you find something meaningful and valuable from this video. And again, thank you to Shopback for partnering with me on this video. That's it. Goodbye! Hi! Nakalimutan ko lang sabihin, since sumabot ka na sa part ng video na to, please don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Ayun lang. Hope you're having a great day. Peace out. Bye!